Hey everyone, it's CJ. Um, I keep having trouble with my audio recording equipment, so hopefully this time it works. So today there was a leak. Um, to give a little background, the CEO of Fantasy Flight Games said that people would not be disappointed if they waited in line on September 4th for X-Wing products. Um, because of that, and the fact that there are three missing SKU numbers, there's been a lot of speculation as to what that could be and why he would say that. It seems that there are leaked images of a new box set, which includes two First Order TIE Fighters and a Resistance X-Wing. Uh, this would be the new T-70 X-Wing. Um, which the model does look exactly like what they've shown in the previews. The other models, the two TIE Fighters, appear to be the same model we already have that, you know, that, that is already out there. And it appears that they've simply been reskinned in the first order paint scheme. Um... Other than that, there's a few minor things I've noticed, such as the emblem for the the Rebellion is flipped. It's the Phoenix is silver, the background is red. Um, and I do know the X-Wing apparently has a better stat line than the one that we already have. And it does have the boost action. It looks like the BB series of droids will be something in the game. Uh, there is a BB-8 card that is shown. Otherwise, it looks just like what we know for, you know, since the core set. Um, you know, it, it looks just like the normal X-Wing game just updated. I don't know if the new faction logos are going to create a fourth and fifth faction. Um, I kind of hope they won't because I would like to fly T-70s and T-65s together. But we'll see. Um, not much more than that. I am. You may get the review of the new box set before you get the review of a lot of stuff that I have to put out, um, like Wave 6 and 7. I'm going to try to get that core set when it comes out. I'm also going to try, I can't promise, to get the, uh, whatever the two other SKUs are. Um, just out of curiosity, if nothing else, because there are a few different, th there's a couple of different ships that they've shown, so I'm eager to see what comes out. I'm eager to get a review done of that, and, um, you know, this is all apparently going to hit before, uh, Worlds, and it's going to hit before some of the Nationals, I think, like, in Canada. So, anyway, until then, um, you know, I, I've been brief here, I don't want to take a lot of time up, um... You'll be getting the rest of Wave 5. Decimator should be today. Outrider hopefully later this week. Um, and then I get into Wave 6. Then all the special ships. The Aces packs. I'm sorry, my cats are playing in the background. Aces packs, all that stuff. And uh, then into the craziness that is Wave 7 slash Episode 7 release, like right on the heels of that, and uh, not really much else. Oh, also, by the way, Wave 7 is supposed to release on August 25th. Um, at least that's what I've heard. So, literally, it's like Wave 7, then Episode 7 stuff releases about a week later. So, anyway... Y'all have a good night, good day, good whatever it is out there, and um, take it easy. I will see you all or talk to y'all later, and that's about it. Happy hunting.